Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So it's a new start today with a new logo. It's because we have completed 500 subscribers. Thank you so much for believing in me. Keep supporting. Do tell us about anything that you want to know. Uh, the new videos that would you would like to see. Also, one surprise for all of you is that from the next video, I'll be providing the link, the Google Drive link to certain books that you can download from there, the PDF form, so that you don't have to buy those expensive books. Okay, so okay, we are going to discuss about Master Veterinary Public Health today. It is a, a course that not many of you would be knowing. So yeah, this is the video. This you can study from All India Institute of Hygiene and Public Health. Website is www.aiith.gov.in. You'll be knowing about everything, including the course, the admission, um, the scope of this course, everything. Just watch this video till the end, and hopefully, it will be very helpful for you. So, in AIIHTH Kolkata, the course is conducted by HOD Department of Microbiology. DN Campus, Salt Lake, Kolkata, MVPH, Master of Veterinary Public Health is equal to MVSP, uh, Veterinary Public Health and Epidemiology. It is a two time, I'm sorry, two years full time course and it includes thesis work also. One gets an opportunity to do research in IVRI ERS, Kolkata. The website I've already told you is www.aihph.gov.in. You will get a stipend of 7,500 rupees every month for two academic years, and the course fee you will not believe is just rupees 12,000 for two years. And the hostel is free, there's transportation facility also available. Faculty all the professors are basically MBBS doctors, then specialized in concerned subjects. They belong to Central Health Services and are also UPSC qualified. This is the bus that will be provided. There are different transports available. Campuses. Um, the institute has four campus, main campus, main campus, urban training center that is Petla. There's rural training center in Singapore. Admission. Selection for admission is done based on the OGPA of VVSE and AH. The higher the OGPA getting admission is easier. The candidates with OGPA 6.5 or above is having higher chance to get admission. Every year, they release admission notice in the month of May or June. This is the admission notice. The left one is of 2019 and the right one is of 2020. Okay, so sorry to interrupt, but please do subscribe my channel. It is a big motivation for all of us for working hard uh, and spread knowledge to all of you. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the application form that you will be filling up and a simple declaration that you will be doing. Subjects provided in the course. You have to keep in mind this is the course for both MBBS students as well as for the BBSC students. So the course is designed as for that. Microbiology, uh, Occupational Health, Epidemiology, Biochemistry and Nutrition, Sanitary Engineering, Statistics, Nursing, Maternal and Child Health, Health Promotion and Education, Public Health Administration, Preventive and Social Medicine. Course Objectives To impart both theoretical and practical instructions to both veterinary and medical graduates, to enable them to plan, organize, implement and evaluate appropriate public health program. Okay. Now, this is something really interesting. You will also be able to understand and appreciate the ecological proximity of man with animals and the influence of animals on human health and vice versa. In this era where we are living, Corona uh, is happening. It is actually a animal's disease that has mutated. Something has happened and it's now affecting humans and it's creating a havoc. Another very important thing you will be also studying about <laughs> zoonotic diseases, appropriate steps to prevent and control zoonotic diseases. To develop manpower to prevent and control human and animal diseases of public health importance. To provide opportunities to take appropriate research in the field of veterinary public health. These are the course objectives and thus you will know how uh, you can help and serve our nation or what are the scopes of this course which I will also discuss later on. Course design. 
this is a two years course and it will include the core courses some specialty course then orientation to rural and urban health centers and finally mvph final exam at the 24th month scope of this course this is the most important thing why you will be studying this course so yeah scope of this course this is a very important uh, thing that uh, anyone who wants to go study abroad uh, do phd abroad you can uh, come study here it's a really nice opportunity in kolkata being a metropolitan city you will be uh, getting um, coachings for gre and ielts or toefl easily also you can take gre and toefl exams from kolkata itself this is something that's not a part of the scope of this course but it's a simple thing that i thought of mention veterinarian in slaughter house can go for agricultural research services can go for rbc is the mount veterinary parks as lab officer can make a career in research can become assistant professor in veterinary university can do job in any private biotech company veterinary officer in respective states and veterinary officer in animal disease diagnostic laboratory okay so last but not the least special thanks to dr s ashok kumar sir who has done his bbsc and ah and from ndb fu jabalpur and currently pursuing mbbs from aiih ph kolkata thank you for watching this video please do like it if you have liked the content and please do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching